What else can we do? There's plenty we can do since we're learning so much and we like to share with people. Our hobby needs to be transparent. It needs to bridge the gaps. And our particular gap in Fiji is tourism. So um, after many threats to my life by tour, uh, resort owners, we finally found uh, a, a, a hideaway resort. The owners there were very receptive to an idea I had about putting a coral farm or a coral trail on, right on the resort itself so that the tourists had a, an immediate access to look at something and learn. The Hideaway Resort is about less than a mile from the area you were just looking at where we were planting our, uh, well maybe about two miles, but right, right in the same coral coast. Very nice resort. By the way, this is uh, the, the, your, your first stop on the Fiji trip. And our reef walk is um, something that we do every day, sometimes twice a day, and depending on tide, because we like to make sure that people can walk. And um, we have people of all ages, we have little children, uh, we have the elderly that want to go and see the coral. So what we do is we, they gather at low tide and it's announced every day in the resort when we'll be making the walk. And people are really interested in this. So we have a guide that's, that is one of our employees that sits there and, and tells them what they're about to see, how to behave, what to step on, what not to step on uh, when, when they're in the middle of this walk. We provide them all with little glass bottom buckets uh, and so that they can put that in the water and see the corals. And the walk takes about an hour. And what they do on the walk is they'll first they'll see the coral that we're growing on racks. And uh, that's uh, pretty much the first stop that they, that they make uh, along with seeing some of the corals that they pass up until they get to that area. And when they see the coral on the racks, they are allowed to purchase one of those corals for uh, five dollars. I, I believe it's five dollars. And that money is shared with the resort and the village that the resort is in. The resort takes it for uh, and uses it for the employees and the maintenance of the coral farm. And the village uses it to do what? Buy trash cans. They throw their beer bottles and diapers all over the beach. So let's buy some trash cans and, and teach these people that their, their uh, resource is a beautiful thing not to destroy and not to litter. They also put in toilets and all kinds of things. Um, the resort is very happy the way this is working out. People actually, uh, what, what you see here is uh, our, our, our guide is showing them some corals that are about six months old and uh, trying to explain to them how fast the coral grows. Most people that take this walk have no idea how fast coral grows. Of course, everybody in this room knows, but when you're a tourist and, and you thought that coral takes hundreds and hundreds of years to grow, they're very surprised. We actually had one, uh, one lady that was going through this tour and, and after she learned a little bit about it, she started crying after she planted her coral. Uh, she said she had never seen anything so beautiful. Here you see how it's possible to make a selection uh, without getting your face wet. Now what they do when they select this is then they continue the walk, they put the coral in a bag that they've selected, and they go over to an area that we call our coral garden. And the coral garden is uh, about the size of a piece, uh, half, maybe a half of a piece of normal property. And um, to, uh, the last time we were there, they had over 2,000 pieces planted on the coral garden. And after the coral garden, there's a trail. And th this is, <coughs> Uh, Deborah and my favorite part of it because you walk along this trail and it's just lined with uh, new coral that has been planted in an area that there really isn't any coral. It's called the Coral Coast, but there's really not much coral there. Everything that you see here has been planted uh, by us when, when, you, when you go to this resort. And you'll be just amazed at you. You can see exactly where we have been and where we have not. Of course, our guide thanks them for coming out on the trip. Um, we don't charge anything, or I, actually I, I provided this to the resort, but it's, it, it's, I don't own it. Uh, the resort charges nothing to take the coral walk, it's only when you want to buy a piece of coral. And then it's back to your regular activities at night, swimming in the pool, having a good time, drinking a Mai Tai. The traditional lighting of the torches at sunset.
I'd like to get this up. You do it as well. Hi, I did the uh, coral reef walk today for Hideaway. Planted some corals and I'm definitely coming back to see it. Well worth doing. Magnificent. Terrific. I'm all the way from Australia, staying at Hideaway. Did the reef walk today. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Planted our coral and we'll definitely be back in the future to see how it's going.